aged care. It's changing for the better. The Aged Care Act has changed to introduce specific governance responsibilities for residential care, home care and flexible care providers. This video is focused on the responsibilities that apply from the 1st of December 2023 for existing providers or on the day of approval for new providers. These requirements do not apply to state, territory and local government authorities. For further clarification, refer to the guidance for approved providers. Providers must have the right mix of members within their governing body. Establish a quality care advisory body. Offer to set up one or more consumer advisory bodies. Ensure staff who provide care and services are appropriately qualified, skilled and experienced. Provide staff opportunities to build their capability. Ensure that the constitution of providers who are wholly owned subsidiaries protect the interests of consumers. The governing body needs to have a majority of independent non-executive members, including a member who has experience providing clinical care. The governing body has ultimate influence over the organisation and should have the right mix of skills, experience and expertise to fulfil its duties. Some providers are exempt from this responsibility. Refer to the provider guidance for more information. Providers must establish and maintain a quality care advisory body. This body will produce a written report for the governing body at least every six months about the quality of aged care provided at each service. Give feedback at any time to the governing body about the quality of care. And comply with the membership requirements specified in the accountability principles. Quality care advisory bodies work closely with governing bodies to improve the quality of care and services provided to consumers. Providers must offer to establish one or more consumer advisory bodies by making a written offer to consumers to get involved at least every 12 months, actively engaging with consumers to inform them of purpose and function of the consumer advisory body, and providing written advice to the consumer advisory body about how they have considered their feedback. Consumer advisory bodies give a voice to consumers so they can directly contribute to the quality of care and services they are being provided. Providers need to invest in their workforce. Ensure their staff are appropriately qualified, skilled and experienced. And build capability by providing meaningful ongoing development opportunities. This responsibility extends to anyone who is employed, hired, retained or contracted to provide care and services. Investing in the aged care workforce benefits everyone. All providers must operate in the best interest of consumers. Providers that are a wholly owned subsidiary of a holding company, which is not an approved provider, must ensure the organisation's constitution allows them to prioritise consumer needs, not those of the holding company. To effectively make these amendments to a constitution, organisations may need to seek legal advice. Existing providers need to prepare now for these new responsibilities starting on the 1st of December 2023. Visit the Commission website for more information. Aged care, it's changing for the better.